Sabrina Fair, listen where thou art sitting under the glassy, cool, translucent wave. In twisted braids of lilies knitting the loose train of thy amber dropping hair. Listen for dear honor's sake, goddess of the silver lake, listen and save. That was from John Milton's Comus. I'm Kendall Bryant, this is Adaptation, and if you hadn't guessed, this week I'm talking about Sabrina Fair, a play about a girl who was named for a water sprite that saved a virgin from a fate worse than death. Okay, that's a major oversimplification of Comus, and really I think the attendant spirit really is more of the savior of this piece, but if Sabrina would rather be named for a savior than a slightly victim blamey water nymph, I'm not going to take that away from her. Anyways, the play, Sabrina Fair, was written by Samuel Taylor and premiered in 1953, starring Margaret Sullivan and Joseph Cotton. It was adapted into a film in 1954, starring Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart, and then again in 1995, starring Julia Ormond and Harrison Ford. Now, I grew up in the 1995 version. I've seen it more times than I can reasonably count. And I've seen the 1954 version a couple of times. I've never seen the play performed, but I did read the script in preparation for this video. And it was so much more than I could have ever hoped for. To the point where I'm really disappointed that this script hasn't been made into a film word for word. The characters in the banter really remind me of Oscar Wilde, but set in 1950s New York. As it happens, Samuel Taylor was originally a writer for the 1954 film, but the writer-director Billy Wilder was making so many changes that he quit and they had to replace him. In my opinion, that was a huge mistake. But the film was nominated for six Oscars, so what do I know? Not that I don't like the film. It is really lovely, but the characters and dialogue are dulled down a lot from the play. And instead of getting the humor from the wit, it tends to get it from the physicality of the performances, which isn't always my thing. It's slapsticky funny sometimes instead of witty funny. David somersaulting over the board table after taking a punch, for example. Or Sabrina falling asleep against the wall after inhaling too much carbon monoxide in a suicide attempt. Which, by the way, is not funny at all, and should never have been considered such. But it has its moments. With Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart, you're bound to have a few. But I still think that of the three versions, this one has the least depth of character. Linus's plans are extremely contrived, and I just don't see this guy softening up and falling for Sabrina. Plus, there is a major age difference to contend with that I just can't. Bogart was 55 and Hepburn was 25. So, 30 years. The play, on the other hand, absolutely makes me believe that all of these guys would be in love with Sabrina. Plus, it lets me fall in love with all the supporting characters for their rather modern views and the lively ways that they express them. Aunt Julia. <sighs> I love her. The plot is very different, taking place solely outside the Larrabee home in the garden where everybody keeps running into each other and calling to each other and having very important conversations at a rapid rate. Mostly about relationships and less about business than the other two. I just don't think that there's much life in either film. And while both try to convince us that Sabrina has brought life back into the stodgy home of the Larrabees, it just doesn't convey it as well as I'd like. That's not to say that I don't enjoy the films, especially the 1995 version. It fleshes out the characters in a little bit of a different way, and with a John Williams score behind it, the development is done with the music rather than the dialogue, which really makes this film what it is. There are a lot of quiet moments where the score gets to really shine. Plus, the Larrabee brothers are a little bit more than just a workaholic and a slacker in this version. They both get their chance at their own character arc, and the supporting characters are almost as entertaining as they are in the play. It does tell a good story. It just wasn't as light, quick, and fun as simply reading the play was for me. It was a different experience. Let me know what your favorite version of Sabrina is in the comments, and if you have seen a live performance, please let me know. Now that I know how good it is, I would live for that opportunity. Also, make sure that you are following us on all our social media and check out our podcast link in the info section. Until next time, take a tip from Sabrina. Go out and find the world. The play, on the other hand, is the thing. No. <laughs> the play is the thing.